Yeah, yeah. So dear participants of the European Non-Associative Algebra Seminar, I'm glad to introduce the speaker of today, Tiago Macedo from the Federal University of Sao Paulo, and he's going to speak on finite dimensional modules for MAP super algebras. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Nicola. Um, yeah, I'm so, I, I want to apologize for the, <laughs> for the delay. Um, yeah, I, I'm going to talk about this um, finite dimensional modules for MAP super algebras, which is something that I've already talked about. So some of you have already seen it um, somewhere else. I just want to give like a, um, a broad overview of this topic. And so this is joint work with um, Ifan Bakshi, uh, Mateus Brito, and Lucas Calisto. Um, and I'm not, so I'm not going to talk only about one work, but about several uh, things. Um, yeah, and please, please interrupt me if you want to ask anything. Um, yeah. Uh, so yeah, let's let's get started. So what MAP super algebras are? So basically, um, can you see my mouse? Yes. Okay, great. Yeah. So basically, uh, we take a Lie super algebra. Usually, we think of of G as being finite dimensional, but it doesn't have to be. Um, and then take a, a, an associative algebra. Uh, usually, we we take A to be commutative and um, uh, associative unit uh, uh, unital commutative, like a bunch of things, and then just take the tensor product. So this is going to be a Li, um, this is going to be a graded uh, a vector space, Z2 graded vector space with the uh, even part uh, being the tensor product of A. So, so, so basically A is not graded, that's basically what it is. So you just take A and tensor with the even part of G and then take A and tensor it with the odd part of G and this is, this is basically the grading. Um, and the, 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 the Lie um, super brackets just given by the Lie super brackets in G and the multiplication of, of A. Um, and this, yeah, so, so these Lie super algebras, uh, which I'm going to denote by G um, bracket A, um, they, they can be thought of as uh, regular maps from from a certain algebraic um, variety. In this case, uh, the the affine variety given by the the, the, the spectrum of, of the algebra A. Uh, so the reg so to the regular maps from this algebraic variety to the affine space um, of dimension G. So this is why they're called uh, map superalgebras. Um, and and it's also the reason why we call G A. Um, yeah. So so for instance, um, if you take the 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 spectrum of of C of T, it polynomials in one variable. So this is basically the the, the affine line. Uh, so so then so, so then the the the, the map superalgebra is going is, is known as current superalgebra, and um, it's usually denoted by G. Uh, of t, as if you, you had polynomials in G. So, so that's basically the, the idea here. Um, and also, so there is another one that's um, well known. It's when you take the, the algebra to be uh, the, the Laurent polynomials in, in a variable. So C of t and t inverse. Um, and and then when you take the tensor product, the, the map superalgebra, this is called uh, loop superalgebra. Uh, some people denote it by L of G or G tilde. So there, these are many notations for the same algebra. And 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 and, and the reason why the, the loop superalgebra is so like well known and important and so on and so forth is because it's related to uh, Katz Moody affine superalgebras which can be constructed from, from the loop uh, by 
by adding a center and a derivation. And some people even even call the loop the they they, they say that the loop is is called affine. So some people, um, yeah, uh, just just call one the other, and, and it's okay. Um, but what we're going to be interested in are uh, our, our uh, map superalgebras. No center and no derivation. Uh, but today in this talk, um, yeah, and 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 just to remind everyone why uh, affine kind smoothie. Uh, Lie algebras are so important. It's because they are the the created Lie algebras of fine growth. This is a, a, a result of Victor Katz in '68, I think. Um, I, 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 we're talking about Lie algebras, not super algebras here. Um, yeah. So so yeah. So here's what the setup for this talk is going to be. So uh, so the base field is always going to be uh, the complex numbers. Um, G, uh, this little uh, German G is always going to denote the um, finite dimensional, uh, a finite dimensional simple least super algebra over C. Um, they, they are all classified and so on and so forth. I'm, I'm going to talk about this a little later. Um, A is going to be an associative, commutative, finitely generated uh, algebra, C algebra with, with a unit. And then I'm going to denote by G uh, bracket A or G A the map super algebra. Okay, so this is the the setup for the for the rest of the talk. So some, so, <laughs> so sometimes we think that these are these conditions in A are are like a lot, but um, yeah, they are they are necessary. Um, yeah, so let's 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 talk about uh, some of some results. So first, let's uh, begin with um, the reduced representations of uh, just the the finite dimensional Lie super algebra G. Um, yeah, but before that, let's remind everyone about this classification uh, given by Victor Katz in, uh, in a paper in seventy seven. So the 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 finite dimensional reduced uh, finite dimensional simple Lie super algebras, they are all um, given in this table. So they have a few, you have a few families like Lie algebras like A, B, C, D, F, G, and then there are others like P and Q, which are called strange, and uh, W, S, S, T, and H, which are called Carton, Carton type. And for just for technical reasons, I'm not going to talk about anything related to Q uh, or S tilde. It's just technical. It's not necessarily uh, because the results don't uh, apply, but it's just because I I would have to give a lot of details and, and, and sub cases and so on and so forth. So I just gonna I'm just gonna skip these um, these two cases. Okay, and then um, um, these Lie super algebras. Uh, so so I'm, I'm, I want to talk about the classification of finite dimensionally reducible modules for for G now. So in order to do that, I have to to introduce um, a couple of things. So these Lie super algebras they um, admit a certain Z grading, um, and then if we define uh, um, uh, R to be to be in, in the classical case. So, so classical, I mean, this case is in the classical case. If we define R to be the the odd the, the even part, and in the Cartan case, the 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 zero part, then these uh, sub algebras are um, are reductive. Um, and they're Lie algebras, reductive Lie algebras, because they are just um, um, even here. There's nothing odd here. And and then because this R, this little R is reductive, uh, the reductive Lie algebra, you can take a Carton subalgebra. So here we are in the Lie world, not super anything. 
So we can take the carton sub algebra, which is going to be denoted by H. Um, and we can do the whole like um, of a reductive Liadra business, like choose a triangular decomposition and uh, Chevalet uh, uh, basis and so on and so forth. And then um, all the finite dimensionally reducible um, modules for this, this um, reductive list of algebra are um, parameterized by, by their um, highest weights. Um, and, and then in order to construct the, the irreducible modules for the whole superalgebra G, what, what we do, what Katz did was he first uh, uh, induced, so this part here, uh, so, so forget about this quotient here. So, so this part here is just induction. Um, so L of lambda is a fine dimensional reducible R module. And then you, uh, you, you force uh, the, the, this positive part here to act trivially. Um, if it didn't act trivially before. Um, and, then, um, and then you induce uh, for the rest of the, the subalgebra. So this is the induced part and uh, you may have to quotient. In some cases you don't have to quotient, but in, in general you have to quotient by a certain uh, uh, submodule. Um, and yeah, so, so this is, um, this, this construction, is, this module is called the Katz module and, and you can give this module via uh, generators and relations, and um, it has been proven that uh, cuts every every fine dimensional reducible module for a fine dimensional simple Lie superalgebra is a quotient of a Katz module. So this was proven by Katz in in a second paper, I think, in seventy seven uh, for the classical cases. And by um, Ber Bernstein and uh, and Leitches in uh, a couple of years later, and I think they proved it for the carton types that those were the ones which were missing. So yeah, so it so the fundamental irreducible modules for G um, they are somewhat known uh, as quotients of. Katz modules. And these Katz modules, they are uh, universal, they are projective, they, you know, they have several like um, interesting um, properties. Okay, and so, so now let's talk about uh, your presentation for the map super algebra. So I'm going to add the bracket A here. Um, so the, the reason why I did the whole uh, recalled the, the construction for um, for G was because I want to use basically the same ideas here. Um, and we have to twist them a little bit to, to fit the, the setup. So, um, yeah, so um, is anyone there still? Is anyone not sleeping? Yeah, we are okay. Good. Okay, great. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. So yeah, let's 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 um, let's do this. So uh, yeah. So again, we're gonna choose a triangular decomposition for the the superalgebra in the same way as we did um, before um, for R, and we just kind of com just completed for for G. And then uh, we induce this triangular decomposition, just tensor it with A everywhere. Um, and we're gonna construct the, 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 um, the reducible modules via this, uh, you know, like, like piece by piece here. So we start by uh, considering um, a one dimensional module for, for the, quote unquote diagonal part. 
um, H of A. So we take a, an element in the dual. So it's basically a one dimensional module for this uh, abelian, um, abelian uh, sub algebra. Um, yeah, and then we basically uh, set all, all the, the upper, quote unquote upper triangular part to, to, to um, annihilate this um, this the M of psi here is basically the generator of the this one dimensional module here. Um, yeah, so so the upper triangular part kills um, the um, this is called the highest weight vector. And um, and the uh, diagonal part acts uh, diagonally as uh, as if this were an eigenvector for for the whole the whole subalgebra. And then we induce. So um, yes. So this is called Fermi module. This thing here, and then it's it was proven by Alistair Savage in. Uh, 2014, in the paper in 2014, that every um, fine dimensional reducible module for a map superalgebra is a quotient of a Verma module. So, um, so we just have to, to basically now find what the, the quotient is, right? Uh, which is the induction part. And, and he also proved, um, Alistair did that, uh, that, um, this uh, linear functional here, it, it, it or, or that the diagonal part here, um, vanishes uh, in some uh, finite condimensional ideal. So basically, the finite condimensional means that a uh, quotient i is finite dimensional. Um, so basically, there is only finitely many uh, things that act uh, non trivially here. Um, so, so yeah, so, so, um, so, so, so this is, this is how the, the whole thing, the whole classification works. Um, so we, we define the annihilator of Psi to be like the, the maximal, the, the, the largest ideal that, um, that, uh, vanishes, uh, X tensor I. And define the, the the supports of psi to be the maximal ideals of A that contain the, the annihilator. So because um, because Elster showed that there is a phantom codimensional ideal that um, uh, psi of H tensor I is zero, then Obviously, the annihilator is also finite condimensional, and and then the supports finite. And then here's where we use the fact that A is finitely generated um, to guarantee that there are certain powers p1 to p n here of of each one of these maximal ideals um, that form the support of, of psi. So there are some certain powers that um, that that uh, you just you know like the, this this tensor is inside of the annihilator, uh, meaning that only is, uh, only up to a certain power of of every maximal ideal that is of support acts non trivially. That's basically what it is. Uh, and so and so you can kind of factor out uh, these um, these powers. Uh, to um, to obtain the representation, not a representation of G tensor A, but a G, G tensor A modulo this uh, finite codimensional thing here. Um, yeah, and then and then uh, and then th this this uh, factorization leads to this tensor product decomposition. So. Um, let me try to explain what um, these parts are. So V one. So 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 yeah. So pretend that n is one just for a second. So forget about everything here. So V 
One here is going to be a module for the, the Lee Super Algebra, Map Super Algebra G, tensor A modulo M1 to the power B1. So just, just this um, finite dimensional Lee Super Algebra. And this evaluation is just basically the pullback, um, to the pullback to G tensor A. Okay, so this is just uh, the pullback through the quotient. And yeah, so then if you tensor uh, these uh, modules together uh, and vary the M's and the P's and the V's and so on and so forth, you obtain all the, so these are called generalized evaluation modules and you obtain all the fine dimensional irreducible uh, modules. So this was proven for um, for A, B, C, D, F, and G by Alistair. F for Q, which is the case that I'm not considering here, uh, by uh, Calisto, Moore, and, and Alistair. And uh, for for the the Cartan ones by Irfan from Bakshi and by Kalist and myself for the, the remaining case, which is P. And we also uh, realized that, uh, actually Alistair had already realized this, that for several cases, um, the power here uh, can be chosen to be one. So basically these are like, um, so, so what happens is that th this V of lambda one is a, mo is a module for G tensor A divided by M1. Since M1 is maximal, A divided by M1 is, is basically the field C. So G tensor C is basically a copy of G. So basically this is a, 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 a module for G, a uh, irreducible, simple module for G. So basically you just have to tensor several copies of um, several irreducible modules for G, um, but then evaluate it in different, at different points. I, I call points, but they're just maximal ideals. And, and in this case, they're called evaluation modules, just, yeah, just because the power is one, R1. Um, okay, so in the other cases, in the cases uh, A, um, C, and yeah, A and C, uh, this is not the case. Okay, so so you have like higher higher powers here, and and, and this the this uh, these Bs here they uh, turn out to be yeah to to, to give us a lot of trouble. Uh, we 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 didn't know the the, the a, a description for these modules. So, um, yeah, so for, for the evaluation modules, there is, is a paper by uh, Ivan Pinkov and Vera Serganova uh, from 1994, where they describe these um, evaluation modules here. But the generalized evaluation ones, they were not um, known. So we did that. Um, and so, so basically what we did was, um, yeah, so um, just pretend for a second that, that there's no tensor, it's just one, um, one factor. And, and that this power P is, is greater than one. <laughs> um, and then uh, take that um, Li, reductively Li, Li algebra, uh, sub-algebra of, of G uh, because it's reductive um, and, and not semi-simple and non-semi-simple, you can split a center here and take the derivative, which is semi-simple in this case. And the same thing with the carton type, the carton part. This is the center, and this is the carton um, subalgebra of this semi-simple part. Um, and with this decomposition, we can look at uh, psi as being the tensor product of 
um, a one-dimensional module for the um, for Z of A tensor, uh, a one-dimensional module for H part, um, the the Cartan uh, part of uh, R prime uh, tensor A. So we can split uh, psi into this tensor product, and then um, yeah. So if 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 this theta here were um, trivial, were zero, basically, uh, then um, yeah. So 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 yeah. So if this theta here were zero, then it would this psi would just be basically a module for the semi-simple part, and we would fall into the evaluation uh, case. But then the, the case where where the description were not were, these descriptions were not known were the case where the this theta um, is non-trivial. So we can take the largest ideal of a that um, theta um, uh, vanishes, uh, annihilates, and. Um, and we, we were able to prove, uh, Lucas and myself, um, that the irreducible, uh, this irreducible module for G tensor A can be seen as a cuts like uh, module uh, where you induce from this irreducible module here. So let's let me explain to you what this cuts like module is. So, so basically you take any module for just this uh, reductive uh, part, Lie algebra. Uh, this is a map map algebra, like, like non, not super or anything. And the, the reducible modules for this, for the, for the map, Algebras they are known. They have been uh, described, um, but by several people. But uh, they are known. So, and then you just force the positive part to act trivially on M, and induce all the way, um, all the way to G. And and we were able to prove that uh, if you choose this ideal to be large enough, basically, uh, this module, this induced module is already irreducible, meaning that you don't have to quotient by anything. And yeah, this description is really good for proving um, um, results about, um, about um, homological things, homological properties and so on and so forth, because it's, this is an induced module. So, so yeah, so this, this, this is this was really useful for us. Um, I, I'm going to show you to you now this 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 uh, this uh, the usefulness. Um, but by showing you knew what the block decomposition um, of so, so yeah so I want to show you what the block decomposition of the category of fine dimensional modules for map super algebras is. So basically, what I want you uh, tell you is um, given to find dimensional irreducible module, uh, irreducible modules for a, a, a map super algebra. So we know that they have this form here. And so when, when, when is it that uh, there is an extension between uh, one module and the other. So the, when when is there uh, a non-trivial, right? A non-trivial extension. The, the trivial extension would be the direct sum of these two modules. Um, so this is what the, the this um, relation here is. Um, so yeah, so when is there a non-trivial extension uh, between these two modules, meaning that uh, W is a submodule of, of E and, and V is the quotient. Um, 
Yeah, so, so there are several cases uh, that we um, considered and, and split the results. Um, and and this, is, this is actually the part where uh, th that, that uh, assumption that uh, G is not um, isomorphic to S, uh, a Q or S tilde comes, um, comes to play because I would have to, to divide things in, in many more cases. Yeah. So, so, yeah. So, so again, remember, uh, remember we had like V is a tensor product of a bunch of uh, calligraphic V is a tensor product of a bunch of little V's uh, evaluated um, at uh, several powers of M's and W and, and, and calligraphic W is a tensor product of several W's evaluated at N's. Uh, powers of n's. So when when these when when the sets the, the supports basically differ by uh, two or more maximum ideals, you cannot extend these two modules. There is no non-trivial extension. The only the I mean you can extend by by doing the direct sum, but not non-trivially. Um, so, so basically, if you if so, basically you can kind of use the Kunev formula to split the extensions. Uh, the Kunev formula, what, what it does is it takes tensor products and and uh, writes it as direct sums of products of of uh, of each factor. So we can we can use this vanishing criteria here with the Kunev formula to. Uh, reduce the whole problem just just to the case where uh, you have only one maximal ideal here, only one maximal ideal here, and they are the same maximal ideals. Okay, so um, so that's what uh, I'm going to talk to you about. So if, next, so I'm going to assume that um, uh, calligraphic V is is let me go back for a second here. So I'm going to assume that calligraphical V is the generalized evaluation module only of one V here and the same thing for W, that this maximum ideal is the same as this one. Um, the powers don't have to be the same, but it doesn't matter much. Um, and then I'm going to write um, this calligraphical V as um, I wrote V here, but you can you can you can replace this V by the gets like module. So I'm gonna uh, replace replace forget this V. Just think of K. So by the gets module, and then and then uh, we 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 do like several cases. So when when the powers are one, that's an evaluation. Don't V. Uh, calligraphic V and calligraphic W are evaluation modules, and there is a formula. Then, when one is uh, P, P is one and Q is greater than one, there is no extension. When they're both greater than one, and the thetas differ by something that's not uh, an integer, there is no extension. And when they're both greater than one, and the thetas differ by an integer and they're also different, then you have a formula. And if they are greater than one and equal, then there's an extension between uh, calligraphic V and calligraphic W, if and only if there's an extension between these two um, modules for this Lie, uh, map, map algebra, map Lie algebra here. So, so yeah, so we, we, I don't know if you can see it, but we basically covered all the cases here. And when we, um, when we just join the whole thing, uh, we are able to uh, describe precisely when to um, 
finite dimensional irreducible modules, whatever two finite dimensional irreducible modules for for a um, map super algebra um, admit an extension or not. And then using this this kind of recipe here, you can build you know like build one module on top of the other and so on and so forth and 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 uh, yeah, do all kinds of of things with them. Yeah, that's that's it. Uh, thanks. Thank you for your talk. Other questions? I think there are no questions, so thank you very much for your talk. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all for listening. Uh, and thanks for the invitation too. And yeah. So I bye think bye. we can stop here and see you all next week. Yeah. Bye. Thank you.